How's it going everyone? Andy from FreeSkies here. And today I want to talk to you about Copilot. So first off, what's the purpose of Copilot? Well, at FreeSkies, we aim to make aerial data collection simple and accessible to everyone. You know, why? Because drones are in this wild west phase at the moment, where there are a lot of unanswered questions about safety and proper usage. Combining this with the inherent difficulty in manually flying drones makes the situation far worse. Simply said, drones are complicated. A quick YouTube search yields over 300,000 results on various drone crashes. And this really demonstrates that drones are neither intuitive nor user-focused. User so we hope to change that. The Copilot mobile application leverages a powerfully intuitive 3D interface. So I'll go ahead and, and open that up right here. Here you see the splash screen, and boom, we're thrown into um, our 3D interface here. So by clicking the 3D button, um, I can go down and uh, the, drone, the, the application will track me down to, to my current location. Uh, we're out here at our, our offices on Sand Hill Road. Let me go switch that over to terrain mode. And I can go ahead and navigate myself through space here. So Copilot leverages a powerfully intuitive 3D interface, allowing users to design autonomous missions that capture data exactly the way that they envisioned. So the focus here is on the data not on the drone flying. It's really what you want to capture and how you want to capture it. So the way you can think about this right here is it's a what you see is what you get type interface. I'm framing the shots, I'm going uh, and navigating through space to um, frame uh, things exactly the way that I want to capture them. So let's uh, walk through a quick example of what that might look like. So if I'm over here on Stanford's campus, I can start over at the Oval and uh, this looks pretty good. I want to go ahead and capture the oval here with some of the buildings out there. And I'm going to go ahead and sit add keyframe. So that's my first keyframe. So again, to, to reiterate, the drone will go to this point in space and the camera will capture this view exactly the way that I've set it. Now I want to go down and in a little bit. I want to zoom in on uh, the main buildings here. And I want to quickly line them up nice and straight. Boom, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and add this as my second keyframe. Um, continuing on, let's go over to the Hoover Tower, and uh, I want that a little bit askew, and I want to capture these buildings like so. That looks pretty good. I'll add that as, a, as my third keyframe here. So as you realize, um, as I go and define more and more keyframes, what I'm, in, what I'm doing is I'm defining an entire video. So my last keyframe here, let's go ahead and see where we came from and, and circle around the and back up a little bit, boom, that's my last one. So with those four keyframes, what I've done is uh, defined a whole sequence and essentially a video. And so now if I go to the playback feature, the system will go ahead and render an entire pre-visualization of what my video might look like. So again, we start off at our first point, uh, the playback moves forward, and it'll show me, again, from, uh, from a one-to-one -one basis, exactly what the drone is gonna be going to capture and what that, that data will look like before I even go to start to fly. So this is a really cool tool because it allows you to, again, very, very simply um, define these complex and dynamic paths and see exactly what they're gonna look like. And I can make edits to my liking, I can add more or less keyframes depending on uh, how much data I wanna capture. We also integrate with uh, things like no-fly zones. So the user can very quickly see um, where they are and where you know various airports, national parks, other areas around them and where they can and can't fly. So, you know, very quickly we can see um, uh, San Jose down here and uh, out on Stanford's campus looks like I'm pretty good to fly. Um, we also integrate with um, some wet weather APIs and um, that's kind of the basics. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of Copilot and safe flying.